everybody, I'm Allison. And I'm Maisie. And today we're gonna make the, the blooming flower. We are gonna be giving this to our moms for Mother's Day. If you get it and it's not Mother's Day, you can still make it. You don't have to even give it to your mom or anybody. You can, you can give it to somebody or you could just do it yourself. It's really a fun project for any time of year. But right now we're making this for our moms for Mother's Day. So we're super excited about it. Maisie, what's something you love about your mom? I like when she takes my whole family um, like fun places. Oh yeah, you guys do a lot of fun stuff too. That's really fun. One thing I love about my mom is she's very creative and she's also very musical. And one of her very special gifts that I don't know many people in the world that have this gift is you could say any word and she will know a song that has that word in it and she will start singing that song. Let's see what's in our kit for our blooming flower today. Okay two flowers and three oil pastels. On top of everything else in your kit, you will just need a pair of scissors, a pencil or a colored pencil to write a little note in the middle of the flower, and you'll need a plate of water, but the plate of water isn't until you're going to give it to your mom or whoever you're giving it to that's when you're gonna need the plate of water. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do not put it in your plate of water right now while we're making it because then that'll, the whole thing will be ruined. You wanna wait until you give it to your mom and your mom will put it in the plate of water. All right, this is gonna be fun. Let's get started. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what colors will probably look good together. So blue and yellow, if you put those together on a flower, what color would that make? Yeah. Green, that's right. So if you draw a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow on your flower and you rub it together, that's gonna make some make it kind of Green. greenish. Yeah. And then if you have red and yellow on a flower together, what color will that make? Orange. Right. So white and red will look good together. There's a lot of color combinations that would look really good together on your flower. Okay, so I'm going to do my first flower, yellow on the outside and this oil pastel oh my gosh I love it it just goes on so nice and smooth it's better than crayons it's better than colored pencils it just has that bold beautiful color on there and I'm just doing like rainbows on all of these flowers because then I'll show you yellow go together? Yeah, they can go together. And then I'll show you the middle. I'm gonna do white. You might think that's kind of strange because the card is already white, but look how it kind of blends together like that. It makes that beautiful. It gives it so much dimension. It's like shading. And whenever you see a flower in nature, it, you could say, oh, that flower is yellow or that flower is red. But is it really all yellow or all red? No, not even the grass. When you look at grass, it's not even all the same color of green. So we wanna make sure when we're coloring something that's nature, like an animal or a flower or something like that, we use multiple colors in it because that is what nature really looks like. Yep. So let's see what Maisie has right here. So see how Maisie has um, pink, yellow, and red all on one petal. That's really beautiful. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of blending. You can blend with your oil pastel as you're coloring. They can all blend together, or you can just blend with your finger like that. Whoa, that looks yes. so pretty. And then I'm just gonna go around the middle of my flower. You don't wanna do too much oil pastel in here if you're gonna do a note to your mom. kind of color in around that if I want, but you don't want to cover it up. Okay, so I have the blue outline on this flower and see with my yellow, I'm gonna color the yellow in there and it starts making that green. I don't even have to rub it with my finger. I'm just kind of going into the blue a little bit and it makes the green automatically. And I have a little bit of blue now on my yellow so I'm just gonna wipe it off over here and that will clean off your pastel so that you can do the next petal. This flower, I'm not gonna do a note in the middle, I'm just going to do my colors. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so we have our two flowers that are colored so beautifully. I just love that oil pastel. It goes on so nice and smooth, dark, rich colors. And now you have oil pastels in case you want to draw a picture later. Yep. You could send it to me. I would love to see a picture that you drew with the oil pastels. Or you could give it to your mom, of course. Maisie and I are gonna cut our flowers and we're gonna fast forward a little bit. So you can always press pause, just like with any Winkle video. And then when you're caught up to us, you can press play and start watching the video again. All right, once you have your flower cut, you have a little more cutting to do, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So in the middle of each petal, you just wanna cut it until you get right to the center of that flower. Okay, we have all our flowers colored, cut, and have the little snip in there between the petals, and I'm gonna show you how to fold them. Okay, so we're gonna fold it in, but only to the center, like cover the center of your flower. See, if you went over, that would be too much, but we're going to go right here to the middle of the flower every time, okay? So. Like that? Yep. Okay. Each petal, you're gonna fold into the middle so that it looks like this. And that is what you're going to give to your mom. <laughs> She'll be like, what is it exactly? Yeah, what is it? She's gonna be so curious. So here's the other one. We're gonna fold the petals in. Okay. So we're covering up the center of the flower. Our secret message. What's gonna happen here? I know, I'm so excited. Okay, Maisie, do you wanna go first? Sure. Okay. So all you do is put your flowers in the plate of water. Facing and, up. Yes, facing up, yes. Definitely <laughs> facing up. So all these folds that you have right here, those are gonna be facing up. So you just put it flat into the water. It's good enough. When you're ready, because you only get one try at this, yeah. okay? So put it flat in the water and you will see what happens. What does do you it, think? It's awesome. It's does, so awesome. Does it work like again? Can you just fold so, it? So yeah. So the way, the reason this is working is because when paper gets wet, it's made of all those papery fibers. So it like crinkles up. But because yep. we had it folded, the water is making it open up, which is it's amazing. So exciting. And the other thing is this oil pastel is water resistant because Magic. it's oil. Okay, so we, this side will get wet and open up, but this side is is immune to the wet because it's covered in oil. So it just sits there and floats on top of the water. So you can, Maisie had a question. You can do these again. You can wait for it to dry. If you're gonna do it again, let it dry flat on your table and let it dry all the way. Then you can fold it up again, and when you go to open it, it'll open a lot faster, actually, yes, because sir. it's been wet before. <laughs> so can we show them mine? <laughs> It for hours. Wow, that was such a fun project. This is one of my favorites. I think I say that about every Winkle project yeah. though. Did you love your Winkle project today? If you did, make sure to take a picture or a video and have a grown up post it on social media. Tag us at the Winkle Crate. That's at the Winkle Crate so that we can see what you made. We want to see a picture or a video and see how yours turned out. And then that way we can show more people what the Winkle is all about. Bye everybody.
everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye. And I'm Maisie. And today we're going to make the blossoming flower. Maisie. And today we're going to make the, the blooming. <laughs> Blooming. Blooming. Get it straight. Okay. Yeah. I know. My it's nose is itchy too. Itchy. I love that red. It's so bright and stuff too. That's Thank really you. fun. Hey, we have our two. <laughs> <laughs> no more itchy nose. <laughs>